Now I'm the king of the swingers, oh, the jungle VIP. I've reached the top and had to stop, and that's what's bothering me. Good afternoon, everybody. Sports Trading Howell here from Sports Trading UK. A lot of people's been asking about the racing just recently and uh, what we actually do on the racing market. So I just thought I'd make a little video for you. Um, and as I said that, it just got matched, which is a shame. So, um, Celtic Ribbon, this horse you can see here, uh, it's steamed down before the off. If I bring this market up, I can probably show you a little bit of what happened. Um, so, before the off, it had come down from this sort of figure. Can you see that 3.25 figure? Um, and before the off, it was at... Um, 2.76 I backed it at uh, which was just before the off to be honest with you I was expecting the horse to front run and because uh, the, the way it lined up so I was expecting the price to trade down quite quickly so what I did was uh, I put a lay in just above 2 because it's sometimes difficult for it to break through that 2 range uh, I bet 20 quid and I was just after making £7.32 as a simple back to lay trade it did take a little bit longer than I thought it was going to do uh, actually uh, because although it did front run this horse here number five uh, Tusker Rock which was the second favorite that also went off in front so it did take a lot longer to trade down than I thought it would do uh, however we made us nice uh, £7.32 profit on that uh, it'll probably go on and win the race now uh, just you watch but uh, in any case we've got our profit we're out of there I risked £20 to win this uh, £7.32 uh, what I would have done I would have stopped lost it um, when it got up to me losing 14 quid so if it had a really bad start I would have stopped lost uh, the horse and taken me um, sort of red and loss so it's just how I expect a race to pan out and that's how I trade them what I'm going to do this afternoon for you I'm just going to make a few videos like this just to show you how I how I can trade the uh, horses in running it's all down to selections obviously um, and it varies what sort of prices I'm going to take, what sort of uh, profit margin I want. But just an educational video just to let you know what we can do on the uh, horses. So I'll come back to you uh, when I open the next trade. Okay, so a quick update for you. Uh, Celtic Riven did indeed win the race. So if I'd have left it as a straight bet, I'd have won more. But this video is not about uh, betting on the horses. It's about trading on the horses. The only one that gave it any trouble was this Venetian lad. Okay. Um, it got up towards it over the last fence, it challenged it, so if you look, it travelled, uh, travelled. it traded all the way down at 1.67 and its starting price was way up here at 8.8, uh, .8. so if you can find the right horses, it's a pretty good way to uh, to trade this, um, but once again it's all about finding the right ones, I'm not saying I get it right all the time, more than often I, well, not more than often, but I do get it wrong as well as right, so let's see what happens this afternoon, I'll be back when I'm on my next trade. Okay, so on to my next race here, and uh, the favourites Ridgeway Storm, it's trading uh, way odds on as you can see. What I want to do is lay this horse, alright, but uh, I'm hoping it gets a good start so I can get in at a lower price on it. Uh, I don't mind laying it to be honest with you uh, at this price, but hopefully, in fact, let's do it this way. Let's put £10 on it now. So I'll wait for £10 now, and then if it does trade down lower, I'll stick me over half a mistake on it then. So I'll put £20 in at 1.52, and hope that gets matched as well. Alright, um, hopefully uh, it won't run a good race and it'll trade up higher, and we can have a think about trading out, or we can leave it uh, and just let it run. So let's see what happens. So it's off, and... Just turn around and see what's happening for you. And it's it's gone off quite well to be honest with you. Um it's, it's not in front, but it has made a decent start. So it's a one mile uh race, so I'm not gonna keep you hanging on for all this time. So I'll just come back in when anything significant happens for you, alright, and show you if my second uh, trade gets matched. And well, it might just get matched here. Okay, so the two trades are in now. I've got £12 liability and uh, I'm going to win £20 if it's losers. So hopefully it'll go ahead and lose. Very, very short price. So I'll come back to you when anything happens. So I'll come back to you now. As we can see, it's trading up quite high now. What we could do here is we could take his liabilities out. Um, 
got the racer in the background. I don't think it's uh, going to win anywhere near, so I'm just going to let the, the lay ride. But a safer way to trade this, we could green it up or we could take all this liabilities out. And just as we thought, it's now gone out to over 100, so there's no way it's going to come back and win. So that's a nice 20 quid. We'll be back again. Okay, so on to the three o'clock at uh, Chepstow. Didn't really have an angle for this race, to be honest with you. I couldn't uh, couldn't find a trade uh, on it. Um, couldn't decide it was going to go out uh, in front from uh, what I'd read, etc. So I decided to leave it alone. If anything, I was thinking about laying the, the favourite again, um, but the price was a little too high, to be perfectly honest with you. So uh, just decided to leave this one alone. We'll see how it pans out anyway, um, and hopefully. Um, I'll be back on the next race. Okay, so back with an update on that one. The, the favourite did win Tokyo Joelic, so I'm glad I left it alone. But however, let's have a look at this. See this trade of volume on the right? Uh, so it traded up as high as 9.0. Um, so if you had a traded it, you, you could have got out of it, to be honest with you. But I didn't fancy anything. Uh, this Bon Chevalier it came from nowhere. See what this traded up at. Yeah, in running, it traded up at uh, over a hundred, only for a couple of quid. But uh, a few people's got that's got a nice bet, haven't they? Uh, wasn't expecting anything from it. Never even looked at that one. I uh, didn't think it had a chance. So you can't win them all. So hopefully, I'll be back with another trade shortly. Okay, so he is lining up near the front, so hopefully he'll jump off, get a good lead. Uh, looking to see where this uh, virtual Dowden's lining up as well, because that will affect the, the price uh, as well. Yeah, he's lining up near the front, so I'm just after trying to nick a few ticks on this. He's, he's going the other way now, but I'm not overly worried, to be fair, as yet. Uh, I'm not after a massive trade on this, but as long as he starts off quite well, we should see it break uh, through the two barrier and we can uh, just nick a few ticks on it. Alright, so I'll be back and let's see uh, how we can go along. Okay, they're off, and they are front running the horse. Okay, so I'm just going to try and get out here at let's look where there's not a great deal of money um, 1.83 okay so I'm just after nicking a quick couple of quid on this there you go matched done dusted I'm out of the market I could have got a lot more so once again it's just because the horse front ran really um, made a bit of a mistake there to be honest with you coming out at 1.83 I could have easily got down here at 1.75 but never mind uh, we've made a quick uh, couple of quid on that one okay so back to you soon. Interested to see if it wins the race or not. Uh, I think it's between these two in the market to be honest with you. Uh, I can't see anyone else uh, contending with them but uh, yeah we've got a nice little quick profit. Incidentally there I would have stopped lost it a lot earlier than what I normally would. Um, I were only trying to make a couple of quid. If it had gone the other way to two or three quid uh, I would have also traded out on that race. I would just have to a little quick uh, scalp as I was expecting just to shoot off in front like it has done. I'm not saying uh, back every front runner because if you do, you're going to lose an absolute fortune. All right, it's just in this race I had it profiled uh, to go out in front. It was a short priced uh, favourite, so I was expecting this price to come down quite quickly. Doesn't always work. Uh, you've got to watch it, and you can lose on it. But uh, anyway, I'll be back with the next one. Just interesting to come back here and show you what's going on. Um, it really is making all this half a silk. It's running really, really quite nicely. Uh, it's got quite a big lead. This second favourite here, it, it is in touch with it, so half of is tempted to back this at such a high price and uh, trade out as it comes down, so that's one way to, to play the race, to be honest with you. And as I speak, as you can see, I could have got in here at about uh, 4.0 in running and just tried to nick a few because it is travelling quite well, this uh, virtual Don Don, but this Arthur's Oak's gone out way in front, that's why the price is trading down here. Okay, just a couple of different angles you might look at. Just thought I'd give you a quick update here. So, it's just as I thought, uh, Arthur's Oak was travelling well, but this guy, he had him in his sights all the way, and we could have got a really good price on him. 
um, up at 4.0. So that would have made a nice little trade. It looks like he's going to win the race now, to be honest with you. So uh, there's a number of angles you can uh, do in play. I uh, just thought I'd point that one out uh, of an option that I could do. Okay, on to the next. Um, 1525 Suvall. Uh, two ways to play this. I'm expecting Dancing Freddy to uh, jump out in the front. It's only a very short race here. Uh, so I could uh, go for a quick back to lay again because I expect him to trade down uh, quite quickly. I'm going to do it the other way on this one. Um, I'm going to wait till it trades down and then I'm just going to lay it. All right. Uh, I don't think it'll win the race, but I don't want to oppose it at 2.40, and hopefully it'll go out uh, in front, and I can get me get in a little bit lower and lay it. So let's see what happens. Okay, so we're off, and see part of it's got matched. So I'm matched there at 1.78. So hopefully now it's going to go backwards, and it is doing nicely. See what happens. As I say, we, we could have taken us liabilities out, but I don't think it's going to um, win the race. Green up at this figure, this 17 quid, if you wanted to do. Uh, if you want to play it safe, but I don't think it's going to win the race. And sure enough, uh, that's another 20 quid. Well, not quite actually, because uh, I lost. A, I was trying to get into a position uh, by scalping it a little bit, but uh, it went the wrong way, unfortunately. Uh, I'm not brilliant at pre-race trading, I must admit. It's something that I'm going to have to improve on. Uh, but anyway, there we go. It's another little bit of profit for us. Okay, 335 Chepstow next. A uh, lot of money in for this Lady Charisma. As you can see, it's just had a steady, uh, well, steady, a little bit more than a steady steam down uh, throughout the day. Uh, people are opposing this uh, our Philly Vera, or whatever you call it. Um, I'm not sure which horse is going to go out in front in this one. Uh, none of them. Uh, in the past races, not like this, but they've had that many, some of them, uh, a real out and out front runners, so I can't find an angle there. Uh, I'm just having a look at their uh, previous form to see uh, which one I might trade on. Uh, I haven't got a trade picked out for this, I'm just trying to find one uh, just to make this video a little bit more interactive and fun for you to watch, but let's see where I can find anyway. Uh, There's a few minutes before the race starts, and we'll see if we can find an angle to nick a few ticks. Okay, I made up my mind. A uh, little punt on Madame de Guise. All right, uh, uh, I've just gone down to uh, ten pound um, stakes here. I'm not that confident, to be honest with you. Quite a bit of money's coming in for it, which uh, made me want to, to jump on it, to be honest with you. Uh, so that's that's part of the reason uh, what I am on it. Uh, <laughs> actually, this is turning out to be a really nice swing trade. I wish I'd have opened it for a lot more money now. Uh, what I might do is, uh, if it reverses the other way, uh, I, I might just take this little bit of profit what I've got and then go back in uh, as it trades up higher. So uh, anyway, let's let's see what happens. But this is the horse uh, I'm going to be behind anyway. Uh, just trying to get a little bit uh, of a back to lay on it. So I'll come back to you just before the race starts. So what I've done here is, um, I've taken my liabilities out of it, uh, it steamed down really quite nicely, um, I was lucky to catch it to be honest with you, the, all the money came in for it, that's one of the main reasons why I backed it, but I certainly weren't expecting a steam like this. So uh, what I've done, I've, I've taken all my liabilities out of it, I've got £9 uh, if it wins the race and nothing if it doesn't. I'm still going to treat it as, as a back to lay, so I am going to uh, come out of the trade, I'm not going to let it run all the way through to the end. But I've just opened, got a nice little uh, free bet on it anyway. So don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Some, sometimes something's working your advantage, and you can uh, you can just well you can make it even better for yourself. So um, what I want out of this is um, yeah. So I don't want to let it reach three. So I'm, I'm going to try and turn the one pound eighty something what we could green up with now. I'm going to try and turn that into just under three quid. So, get that match there, hopefully. £2.95. Remember, it's a free trade anyway, so let, let's see how we go along. Uh, and I'll be back to you soon. What's happened here, the reason why it's uh, gone backwards quite quickly, is this horse here, Ruby Glow, it's shot out in front. Um, but 
even though it's a mile in front it's not a fancied horse it's traded up at these prices so that's why that price hasn't dropped down uh, quickly as I said when you're trading front runners it doesn't always work uh, it's not as always easy as just picking a horse that's going to run at the front so don't just start doing these things uh, willy nilly take the time study the markets uh, see how they work before you jump in um, our horse at the moment uh, it's not running badly to be perfectly honest with you but but the price is trading up high but we've got a free bet on it so we're not overly bothered um out of the favorites uh yeah this uh, lady charisma is the one that's coming down let's see where oh that's running yeah, it's in second place traveling quite nicely ours can't see where ours is at the moment but uh it can't be doing brilliant as it's going backwards in the market but hopefully uh, there's plenty of time left uh in the race so hopefully it'll come down and we can secure a little bit of profit anyway i'll come back to you in a bit okay so a little update here uh our horse it's actually traveling quite well the reason why it's still going up in price is because this lady charisma uh it's just tracking the leader quite nicely and as we said that it's gone backwards horse racing markets in running uh, there's sometimes a minefield okay so I just thought to give you an update uh, it's not looking good on our trade but anyway i'll come back to you at the end of the race Wow, what a game horse racing is there. Um, our horse now is it's going to win the race. Uh, so, <laughs> what you could have done, uh, once we'd secured that free bet, we could have just let it run and hopefully it would have uh, won the race. But it's a trading video uh, out for training purposes, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, this horse, Rule Bigelow, it ran quite well, to be honest with you. I thought it was going to win the race. Uh, I thought it was going to lead from start to finish, so that would have been a good trading horse as well. Traded right all the way down to 1.54. This Lindsay's Dream had a good run as well. You can see uh, it traded quite low from, uh, look at its starting price. It was well over 20, so that ran a good race. This, the Lady Charisma one, what we're talking about, that died off. Uh, and that traded down between, below 2.0. So just a really, really competitive race uh, if you find them. There's a number of different ways to trade the horses. I'm not saying that uh, my way is the best. All right, but uh, hopefully you're uh, getting some information out of this, some knowledge. I'll probably do one more and then uh, I'll call it a day. I don't want to bore you with uh, a too long a video. And uh, if you like it, drop me a line and uh, I might make some more. Okay, so last one I'm going to do today. This one's a minefield. Um, I think anyone could win it. Can't even write to Princely Hero off here. Um... <laughs> I really don't know what to do again on uh, on this one. Um, the one moves you can see the graphs is this uh, Tarico. Okay, so I probably should stay clear here, but um, if it runs well, because all this money is coming in for it, it should carry on trading down. So I'm just going to back it again at 4.3, hopefully. And let's see how it goes on uh, in the race. It's another one what I hadn't actually got anything picked out for this race because um, it is an absolute minefield to be honest with you. But I've just followed the money really. Um, so hopefully it, it will start off, it'll run quite well and we, we can take a green out of it. Um, Sometimes it's not the best way to trade following the money. I prefer to trade from the the phone book, but uh, to be fair, it does work uh, quite a lot as well. So we'll try it anyway on this uh, on this race and see how we go. As I say, it's going to be the last race I do anyway, um, and then so I'll come back to you uh, in the race when I've got something to talk about. It also looks like it's going to front run as well, which is an advantage. Uh, obviously, as you can see in, uh, today, front runners that the prices can trade down quite quickly. Not expecting it to trade down as quickly as some of the others because all these uh, some of the others have done today because all these horses are quite close uh, in the market apart from that one, Princely Hero. So I'm not expecting it to come flying down, but uh, it certainly does help if it uh, is going to front run because they sometimes do go on and get uh, quite a lead and you can uh, you can trade out uh, quite quickly it's broke through that uh, four barrier now so and just as i said that it's gone over uh as it if it breaks through the four barrier then it can sometimes move down quite quickly if uh, if money's uh, coming in for it but uh, we've managed to get into a reasonable position before the race starts again um 
as I say, I, I'm not the best uh, scalper pre-racer, pre-horse racing trader. It's something that uh, I'm spending quite a fair bit of time on to, to try and get it right and try and get it better. But uh, just a quick tip bit there. Um, sometimes when they break through this price barrier of 4.0, uh, normally some money comes in for it and it can push it down quite quickly. The reason is is because the uh, plus side is far better than the negative side because it's... Um, as it goes down here, if it comes above this fall level, then it's moving against you quite quickly. But uh, as it comes down through here, then you're only moving 0.5 of the tick rather than 0.1 of a tick. Probably didn't explain that very well, but uh, you seem to, uh, I'm sure you can get the idea of it. And it, it has worked on this one. It's broke through that fall barrier and it's pushing it down um, uh, quite a lot there. This time, I'm, it's not going to come down enough for me to leave a free bet on it, I don't think. Yeah, I could take it out now and have four pound fifty on. But let, let's go with the uh, the trade. So we're only you again ten pound uh, on this one. So let's just go with the trade and see what happens. What I'm after from this one is um, let's see if we can get a fiver out of it. Um, no, no, we won't. Um, okay, let's just watch how the race progresses and we'll see what we can get out of it, if anything. So it has gone off in front, hence it trading down. So for the uh, scalping ones of you who are just after the quick tick movement, to be honest, I do that quite a lot. You could have already had your profit. Uh, if you're going to do that way, then you want to be trading in much uh, much bigger stakes. But uh, remember to have a stop loss in place. It's very important uh, because it can go against you extremely quickly. All right. Uh, if you're confident of the form of the horse, then you can be a little bit more uh, braver on that. But if you're just beginning and trying to take a few scalps out of a stop loss in place. So the scalping, I could have had it out by now, but I'm hoping it's going to run well and I can get it trading down a little bit lower. Okay, so I'll come back to you uh, as the race progresses. Okay, I've come back to you uh, now, not because anything's happened, but uh, just to explain a little bit about this market, uh, there's no pace in this race whatsoever. Uh, Tarako is, still is in front, but the whole field's bunched up, nothing's gone out massively in front. The market likes this smart exit, as you can see at the moment. That's the one that uh, is trading down. Uh, but as it's still in front, uh, it's jumping quite nicely. So hopefully we should be able to get a decent profit and finish the afternoon off. We'll be back soon. And here we go. Happy days. It's traded down quite nicely. Um, let's see if we can get seven quid out of it. It should get matched quite easily. Hopefully, anyway. Yeah, there we go. So, finished it off quite nicely. We've got uh, £7.20 profit. I could have probably held on with this, to be honest with you. It probably will trade down to around about this 2 mark, and I could have made me, uh, me £10 profit on it. Uh, let's see if it does. So, in order for me to get to my £10 profit, which is what I was risking, it's got to trade down 2.16 and below. So, last video of the day so let's just watch it together see if it does hit that that's actually called a dob um, I don't know if any of you heard of the uh, sites that do dobbing it just means double or bust so what you're trying to do is uh, get the horse to trade at half its uh, starting price value what you backed it at if it doesn't then you, you just let it bust so uh, if you put a tenner on it you're either going to make a tenner or you're going to lose a tenner it's a very pop uh, popular way of back to lay trading to be fair uh, I sometimes do it uh, but over times I just set uh, various targets depending on what sort of uh, race it is but that's the most popular way of it back to lane dobbing so um, just going to turn around and have a look at the race so the two that are up front as you can probably tell by the market are uh, Terraco and Smart Exit um, they're the ones the market like to start with so um, let's see what happens so for the first time it's lost the lead, our horse, Tarako. And then just as I said that, it goes back into the lead. So let's see if it would dob or see if it uh, carries on and wins the race. Ah. Hopefully I've not bored you with this video too much. Uh, I've just made it because uh, I have been asked about it uh, in the forums over at Sports Trading uh, UK. 
so please pop over and have a look in the uh, forums there's quite a lot of useful stuff in there uh, we're always willing to have people coming round asking us questions we do a lot of uh, live trading on the football on the tennis uh, you might have seen some of the videos on the football and the tennis uh, oh there we go so it, the horse has fully dobbed so any of you playing the uh, dobbing uh, tactics we would have won quite nicely on this race yeah so back to where I were about the forum I'll post the link in this uh, video selection and uh, pop over and see what we're doing in fact I might make these videos every day because uh, this isn't common for every single trade to win uh, please don't think that you can just log on and every single trade will win it doesn't quite work like that uh, just being one of those days um, this is just purely for educational uh, purposes just to show you how you can go about making money on the in running uh, horses all right uh, I'm not saying I'm expert at it uh, I've just made this for a training video because I have been asked okay so Let's see if the horse does go on along and win. It should do. Um, Best Boy Barney was yeah. Best Boy Barney's tracking it as is this Danners. That Smart Exit's uh, going backwards, so that one's going nowhere fast. It's run a good race this uh, Terraco, to be honest with you. I've been quite impressed with it. Anyway, let's just shut down this video and I'll come back if it wins the race and just sign off. Okay, so I'm back again, and I think it just got pipped on the line, although the market uh, doesn't seem to agree. Um, it looked like, as I turned around, that this uh, Danners had got up, but uh, obviously the camera angle's not as good, and looks like there's nothing in it at all to me. Uh, but obviously this Terraco has got up and won, so I've picked a few winners out of today, typical that I've not backed them, um, but... Again, as I say, educational video just to show you how we can go about trading the horses. So please pop along to the forums and pop into the live chat room anytime you want to have a chat with us. Uh, Kevin's the uh, lead football trader here. He does some uh, very, very, very good stuff. Uh, on YouTube, his name's Blue Cypress. So please check out some of his videos as well. Uh, but if you want to make money on the uh, football, uh, follow Kevin. So Sports Trading Owl here from Sports Trading UK. And I'll see you in the next one.